Welcome back to MXC, where something has died. We're uh, processing the last of the Brocky fossils. We're doing a dig for you, Tyrannus, in the Ixian formation. Um, and all of that is happening uh, with the newly... Jesus Christ, calm down, corpses. With the newly uh, added Diplos in the park. Oh my. Oh my god. Okay, well. Uh, everybody's dying in this pen. It's... Oh my god, stop! <laughs> what the hell is this? We got the the glitch where you're clicking on a live dinosaur when you're trying to get a corpse. That sucks. Okay, galleys, what are you doing? Pen. Cosmos, you guys still have like seven or something left. Five only. Fine. We need to get the bigger ticket dinos out before we worry about bolstering these dying herds. This probably. I wonder if this is a, this has got to be enough to tip the amenities over. I mean, it doesn't look like it surprisingly. 3.8 stars might be a new record. That's probably with the Diplos kicking in now. Yeah, it looks like it. Although we do have, um, what's the visibility like right now? Full visibility, really? Huh. All right, fine. How are the Diplos? So they're good. Everybody else is happy. We've only really added plants. Nobody has uh, issues with open space. So it seems like we're good. Everybody over here is good. Yeah, so the Styrex have status info so the Jeeps can get into the pen now, clearly. All very well and good. Brocky is completed. Two. So these are going to be a ball ache. 25% thirsty, 50% large appetite, 25% sick. I want just one of these. If I can get one, I'm happy. Looks like our geneticist will be back in a second. So basically, the goal here is can we get one Brachiosaurus egg hatched while we work on getting Eutyrannus into the park? It's going to be uh, maybe difficult. Drum roll. Can we do it in one? No. No, we cannot. <laughs> Omelet, du fromage, and we got another, another dice roll. Back to the loot boxes. Hook me up with that Brocky. Uh, meanwhile, the expedition is ongoing. We do have enough tasks or enough men here to potentially do some research. Um, I don't know why we've done gene mods because we can't use those. So we did get all the vaccines done. That's good. So we don't need to worry about that. Concrete fences. Um, these don't take power, and that's actually pretty significant in a park that's restricted to merely um, three power generators. Thing is, it doesn't matter right now. We have power currently, so why would I need to bother? And the answer is I don't need to anymore. Um, zip lines, I'm not sure where we'd put those to use, if I'm being honest. And then these are just too damn expensive, both in terms of money and logistics requirements. And power is completed. So, and we did large amenities here. Additional modules, I don't think matters. I mean, it might. We never use them. Maybe we should experiment with those. This is not the place to do that, though. This is not the place to be experimenting with those. Yeah, I think we're good. I think research is fine. Um... Fuck it. We'll do this. We'll knock it out. Let's just do it. Why not? Who cares? We do it now so we don't do it later. Potentially at some point we can hi uh, fire like a logistics specialist because all the big end research is done. That's something to think about. Actually. Once again, we've got the territory contract. We did just have a Dracorex die, so that is a concern. Fussy thirsty, fussy large appetite. Second batch of Brockies is also scrambled eggs. Um... But then, yeah, let's pivot over to the Dracos, get the bonus from the contract if we can, because the money is going to matter before all is said and done here, I think. Um, so we'll rush this down with our big geneticist, I suppose. Boop, 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 boop. Great. Select eggs. What do we got? Fussy social, fussy social, fussy social, fussy social, and fussy nocturnal thirsty. So four good ones. Hopefully we can get those all on the ground before something decides to die of old age. Keep trying for that one precious Brachiosaur. In the meantime, 30 seconds here. Heavy fences done. Fossils are in. Corpses are spawning every goddamn where. 
Okay, hold on. Gallimimus might be getting uncomfortable. Eight. We need galleys soon. We might have to pivot over and do a batch of Gallimimus. Um, okay. Let's get the Dracos going. We can worry about everything else while they're airlifted over. So they're going. Yeah, give me fossils. We'll focus on the UD. The Sino can wait. Um, yeah, you're mad at me because I just used you to research, so... Whoopsies. Well, that's fine. Probably that was a mistake. We actually wasn't worth doing the fences because it used up the chat assist. But I missed it was doing that, so... What are you going to do, right? Well, we got a minute on the Brocky, and the contract's got eight minutes. So the contract should easily be completed. Let's check back on the Brocky and then the contract later. Just lost a Draco. We just had a Draco die. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, fuck. All right. Well, step one. No. <sighs> Look at that. It only took us three clutches and five uh, Brocky eggs for... Um, non-viable embryos but we got it and we can potentially still try to hatch a draco if we get real unlucky here on this airlift timing i think we needed only two and we hatched four so we still have leeway of one if i'm not mistaken it's still a little closer than i'd like um but you know what every every time we get this contract it's been a little hairy to finish it in time just the nature of um Doing this with anything that's not like a giant herd of strength is just streaming right out of the hatchery into an enclosure. Okay, uh, actual damage. What do we got? That's that's a lot of damage. Okay, uh, destroy that. It's not, but that's a funny thing to say. Um, anything else? Yes. Uh, actually, give me. You're returning. You can do that. The uh, three power stations is a uh, certainly a threat with the power outages during storm kind of thing. So who's injured? Okay, calm down. Here's over time. That's silicosis. You. Okay, that's a Medicaid job. So that could be the injury. I don't know why it's showing up as a Medicaid if that's the injury. That's a bit weird. It's just, uh, just a bit odd, you know? Uh, let's get some more repairs probably done here, because I imagine... Oh, God. Yeah. I'm just going to stick both of these on this. This is their quadrant of the park. I guess they're... half of the park. They're, they're a third of the park? <laughs> um, give me other Jeep. I can't do that, because you're unpowered. Right, because you don't have a backup ship. That's fine. There's nothing wrong with having one Jeep to like manually control while the other one does its tasks that it's uh, been assigned to. It does slow down the storm progress because you're on you know regular speed, but whatever. Yeah, I can't help but notice more injuries spreading. So I think the Medicaid must be like storm abrasions or whatever it really looked like there was another one in that direction but i guess it's wait what yeah there's two injuries what uh what are we doing guys i really can't see the second injury why not wait is it here hello my button stopped working what did i click that made all my buttons not do anything no, it's probably unstatus checked, I guess. You know what? Uh, it'll be much easier to find when the storm is over and we're not dealing with all of this hatred. Are the Dracos on the ground? No, there's still one coming. Okay, there's still two coming. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, we're fine. Yeah, surface wounds. The objective is always to complete the objective. It's an airlifted Draco as surface wounds. I bet you that's it. 
Yep, yep. It got surface wounds being airlifted over. That's bullshit. All right, well, fix it. Go. Go, my employees. Deal with the crisis. Shelters. Ranger team. Seven. You're right there? Yes, you are factually right there. Ranger team. Eight. I'm going to go get the Carnos. And then three and four are returning, so presumably they're over here. Yeah, we can try and then maybe you win because you're facing the correct direction. The other one probably has to Y turn, which will take a thousand hours. All right, five minutes on the Brockies. Fossils are in or we're never done. I guess, yeah, we never went and did another dig. Um, I guess I forgot. Sure. All right, there we go. Then do I want to use my geneticist to do something in the meantime? Probably. Hookworms. Great. Never mind. Probably need help with that. Uh, oh, right, because my welfare person is tied up. Uh, yeah, so we don't have... So we finish the fossils and the expedition. We can put one point of welfare in to finish it, but that's seven fucking minutes. The Brocky will be back before that, so fuck it. Okay. Yeah, okay. Um, well, then back to the geneticist. We can try and hack something here. So what do we need? We need... Chasmosaurs, maybe? Because they're dying off. Oh, we need the galleys. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Galliminus. Gala, Gala, Gala Minus. Alright, did you get hookworms, though? No. The hookworms research is tied to cleaning the feeder. So that's actually not a priority, then. Okay, fantastic. Lovely. Beautiful. But you should be up to it. I mean, Only yeah, Draco's forever, I guess. Your decision. Um... More dinosaurs means more potential problems we have to keep an eye on. So, Vigilance is the name one minute. Name. Resting will take three. So we need to keep this person around to do that. I was just about to process fossils. I was literally in the menu. But then that popped up. And that changes the plan. Uh, so, yeah. We'll, uh, we'll do that in a minute. There goes the Brocky flying over there behind the UI element. There's the Dracos as well. Thirsty. Thirsty. These guys are dying off pretty good, but I think we only need three to finish the contract. So if we do this batch, it's probably okay. One minute. So I can do the galleys as well. We just don't want to release those at the same time. Um. So we have the appeal bump. We can take a quick peek. Yeah, so 80s and 90s. Accommodation rating is down. We're missing a hotel. Um, so I think the thing to, to do is to put a large hotel in over here somewhere. Um, probably just goes right here, essentially. Yeah, we got to get rid of the power line, but that's fine. And then we can do medium amenities in here probably start doing that like our first set of mediums upgrade from there crowding is just bad here well whatever uh, weird plazas can only go so far uh so yeah we need to reconnect the power we just, yeah, we can just sneak it past the uh, hotel there. We'll just do that. I'm pretty sure we can just, um, this. And it'll look marginally better aesthetically, and that'll make me happy. Okay, so. Yeah, we need, we need the uh, other amenities over here. So, medium or large. I'm curious. If we put in large, we can use these to do a little bit of science on whether or not they're going to be useful. I'm going to put a large drink in. 
I just want to compare the large to the medium. Because it's entirely possible that it's just that mediums are bad. Income 52, profit 39. And if we find a nice... Well, this shut off a bunch of drinks. So these are 17. 180, 17. We've uh, a little over doubled that, but we're taking up um, a, a substantially more guests to do so. Uh, so what we can do here, we can go ahead and just switch over some of these other smalls to just not be drinks. So let's do, I don't know, food, sure. And we'll upgrade piecemeal like this to just maximize profits at every step. I feel like this should always be ice cream because it makes more thematic sense to me. So we need a shopping and then this can be shopping. And then I'll have to go through these and see if there's any others. But yeah, I'd like to see what the full, I'd like to see the metrics on the fully, fully occupied large amenity um, for sure. Why is the change button in the middle? It's just weird. Everything about this UI is just so clumsy. This, this particular UI, this like subsection, not the whole game. I have, uh, the UI seems perfectly fine otherwise. We'll do books. This, we we uh, did the research for it, but we've never actually used books anywhere because there's never really been any good recourse for that. 88, 88, 90. This isn't updated. You can't trust it. It's a liar. Yeah, it seems like everything else is still doing its thing. So that's fine. And that's without the hotel as well, which will probably change things. Dinosaur ready to release. That is the Dracos. That's probably a delayed message. Six minutes might be enough time to airlift these guys over. Um, if it isn't, it just isn't. I, maybe I should be putting them down technically closer. Like, it makes a little bit of a difference, maybe. If the timer, if we're literally trying to beat the buzzer. Also, we're close to four stars, and that's definitely new. I love seeing these Ooh, ratings go four. up. Me too, Cabot. Me too. If you have Hell yeah. One. All right, the galley's left to weigh it. Thatcher's a little occupied. Okay. What we have here is a Brachiosaurus. It has long limbs relative to the rest of its body. And what makes it really unique is that it's a warm-blooded dinosaur. Claire, what the fuck are you talking about? I, I say this every time. Every time we release a Brachy, I comment on this absurd voiceover so from Claire. Um... And yet I'm doing it again because it just, I, I can't not call out how preposterous the notion that the Brachiosaurus is uniquely warm-blooded is. That's fucking insane. That, that's just baffling. Why? In the air. You can debate whether dinosaurs are truly warm-blooded or if it's some weird in-between and the degree to which they're more or less warm-blooded throughout various lineages. And at no point in that discussion... Would anybody pick Brachiosaurus as the uniquely warm-blooded one, I'm pretty sure. Unless there's some weird thing with sauropod anatomy I'm completely unaware of that somehow surpasses, like, raptors in terms of internal body temperature, like, warm-bloodedness. But I feel pretty confident in saying that that dialogue is fucking bullshit. Mostly because a lot of them are. Um, they're very bad, usually. Uh, looks like we can do a whole bunch of tree over here for you. Maybe more over there. Maybe we uh, push out the boat a little bit more on this. The Kamaras are more established, so we can um, take away some of their tree if we need to. Okay, well, there's all of the Talma in the world. Kamaras, how do you guys feel? Oh, you don't give a shit. You still got Tall Leaf. Um, let's put a little bit more Tall Leaf. To just try and not run into issues um just fill up some of these other corners i could go small brush i should go small brush because the pricing is gross and we definitely don't want to be putting trees outside of the borders uh, the smallest brush doesn't like do anything though well there we go that's tons of tall leaf for them Look at this pen. The proper, proper little weird forest in our desert biome. Lovely. 
not only is it actually a little bit of a forest, it's a forest you can see through, which is always nice compared to uh, the in-game forest brushes. Except for Biosyn map, of course, which is the best map objectively in the game because of the tree brush uh, being passable by vehicles. That, that makes it the best. All right, uh, so the Dracos are on the way. Uh, don't be, don't be Dracos. Okay, good. It's just Gallimimuses. That's probably a bad thing. Uh, nope, they're still 100%. So. Oh, uh, our ratings are indeed up, 100% uh, across the board now. Probably because of die-off in the southern section has removed the little bit of appeal that we couldn't cover with the existing amenity spread, and then the single large is making up for everything up here. Uh, the hotel is built, so we're still only at 497. This is actually making less money, I think, than it did before. That's fine. Let's not worry about that. Three minutes on this contract. Boy, howdy. I hope it will finish. Uh, okay. Okay, that's the last Draco. That's sick. 23, 25. So we should have them landing pretty soon. We'll get these galleys in here. No reason to be paused while that happens. Um, are those more fresh corpses, or are those the ones I have? No, they have flares. They're being home. Asset has been delivered. Uh, always look for the flares. The flares will light your way. Fossils and scientists are doing things. We have currently the... Well, our geneticist is here. We could try for, like, another brachiosaur or something. Um... Three, six, five, four, maybe paras. Let's try for paras. Because they're really hard to breed. So when they start dying off, they're going to be a pain in the ass to fix. And we lost one to Coelophysis, of course. How long? How's the UD coming along here? It's not. Because um, the fossils take forever to process. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. I mean, that's 91%. Is there any reason to actually process like that when we can do this and use up the amber? I don't think so. I think we do that. The dig is long enough anyway that we can do a second batch in the same window of time, so it should be fine. Oh, it looks like the contract completed. I didn't see if we beat the buzzer. Our job is to we did! Ever vigilant. We got the because bonus. The so that's almost 2 million bucks. No that's pretty sick. Taking care of that objective? only helps us accomplish the mission okay you know what one is still good i'm not even mad that it's only one out of six paras are a nightmare to hatch apparently in this mode um we know this so every single one is a blessing contract time nothing too good we'll take popular because it's the one that is completable but it probably gets finished with the utah us i just don't think we'll complete it in time also we need struthia mimuses we have four left in the park it would also probably be good to get struthies up to the level of draco rex in terms of population so we can use them for contracts in the future but i don't see that happening god damn it motherfucker food well i mean at least we got one utah fossil could have been worse. Could have been worse, John. Uh, we'll process these with you. Sure, that's fine. Gotta go back in time. Well, no, because that's the wrong franchise. But we do have to go dig more, so we'll do that with you. I didn't send out the geneticist, right? Yeah, I put him on fossil church. Great. So you rest there. Uh, geneticist and welfare person are still on standby. So I want to keep... Really? 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 E. coli this time? Ah, uh, yeah, we should be doing these, huh? So you do that. Get, a, get E. coli in case some idiot did eat from feeders. Also, where are all the corpses at right now? Okay, we got more dead Gallimimuses. Holy smokes. Um, Were we able to... Yeah, we're able to get them replaced uh, in, in order... Uh, they're being replaced as they die and keeping the herd stable, basically, which is hilarious. And then the para is ready to go. Yeah, we have no access to the incubate or to the hatchery here. The incubators in the hatchery, whatever. So we can't do a synth with our geneticist. I'd like to keep them going, like constantly producing something. Commencing asset transit. So it'd be great if these galleys could get out of my goddamn way. Who else is dead? So you're dead. There was a Draco. Is that the last thing? No, the Draco should be airlifted. Transit has commenced. Okay. 
Uh, why is this not fixed? Hello? You were literally in the pen. Did I not? It got retainted. It absolutely got retainted immediately after. That's, that's insane. Um, uh, what are we doing? What are we doing? Fossils, digging. Yes, those are the things. I think that was... I don't know what the notification was for. Let's get this new para out. And then let's get something... Oh, it was for the research. For the E. coli. Or whatever. Um, let's get the other one, just so we have it. So that's you again. And then we can do a synth job at the same time to get some other dinosaurs into this park. So... Do we want to try for another para? We could. Uh, we could do Diplos. We could try Styrax. Or we could do those Chasmosaurs we've been putting off. Let's do the Chasmos. Yeah, let's make sure we're keeping ahead of some of these die-off groups. So the Chasmos have die are dying off. The Galleys, the Struthies. Oh shit, I never did the Struthies. I wanted to do. Well, that's fine. Um, because we can use this slot for it, although we don't have anybody on here with genetics, because we don't have anybody with just one point. Okay, well, there's that. Let's do the struths. So, a batch of struthies as well on you, and then we're waiting for the welfare specialist to hatch both of these. Just three struthy eggs, nothing too special, but it's enough to get the herd reestablished, to start getting it reestablished. Um, probably want to go ahead and uh, do another wave as well. Okay, four Chasmos is much better, though, so I'm happy to see that. Get you out. Oops, not out there. There's nothing over there. One, two, three. Um, that was fossils completing. Yeah, we still got a lot of time on that, so we might as well process these. This has to be our regular geneticist. I'm okay with that. Um... As long as they're doing something, I'm, I'm fine with it. They're not hatching, but that's another dead galley. Okay. And then, yeah, two minutes here. T research available drought tolerance. Now? Why? Died of old age. Oh, it might be... That might be tied to dehydrating your dinosaurs. We might have something that's suffering from dehydration right now. It hasn't ticked over to losing HP from it, but it's probably, I think, I think I remember that. I think it was like time or health lost or something like that to dehydration. Maybe. Uh, let's do a lifespan check on the car. 65, 69. Yeah. And we can probably fit a fourth Carno in here when we breed new ones. We could breed new ones. Maybe we do that. Synthesis batch size is two to five. I'm going to do this. Like, we could wait for a contract to sell. But uh, I'm just not sure that would actually be worth the effort. Styrac died of old age. Not something I was expecting. Are you guys the same age? Yeah, you all just reached your lifespan. So that just was bad luck. He died exactly. Exactly at the first moment he could, basically. So we'll do another round of Styracosaurus as well, then. Uh, let's see what we got. Five eggs... So, fussy, aggressive, and thirsty is bad. Intelligent, fussy, aggressive. Intelligent, fussy, aggressive. Intelligent, fussy, fit. Intelligent, fussy. That's four new Carnos. I'm... Shit. So, fossils in one minute. I mean, we can't hatch him now anyway, because the welfare specialist has to rest. The problem is, that might infringe on my uh, Utaranus space there, actually. Um, Jesus, I saw that sick flip. What did you do a flip over? Nothing? The ground itself? 
Looked like he flipped over the ground itself. It's pathetic. Take it back. It wasn't cool. Alright. Uh, Ten seconds on these. So the Chasmos, we don't even need to keep an eye on those. We had double digits before. I think like 10, maybe 11. Okay, that's got to be it. Right, 5%. Okay, so that's done. Sinoceropteryx is done too. So you can process those. So we can do, yeah, we can do the UT clutch and see what we get. The welfare specialist will be back about the same time. We can make the decision. I guess we do probably just hatch those. Um, shit, 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 shit. Okay. Um... Okay, the Herrera gates are a priority because those can interact with unfavorably with um, uh, intelligent. If Herrera gets past the gate, he might keep going because he's a clever girl. She's a clever boy. You know what I mean. Uh, Ranger team eight. Okay, you're right here. So yeah, this is... This is best done by you, then. That's fine. And yeah, the Styrat gate, that's one I'm not concerned about, which is why I didn't double that gate. That's not um, not a uh, cause for concern, because that's not creatures that'll fight each other, so it doesn't matter. I'm um, sorry, you're... Oh, I, I just assigned you to everything. Understandable. Carry on. You can do these. Oh, you're... Are you in that pen? Yeah, you're right there. Do them in a smarter order, friend. Thank you. Okay, that's that's it. Everything's good. Not a honestly, have we had a single like full breach? Like maybe one? I think we had one time where we had both gates go down on an enclosure. But almost every time we've had a gate go down, it's only been one solitary um section. What is this? Why is that like inching along? They all do that on the map. Oh, that's so weird looking. You see that? They move like, like they're squares, like tipping over. Very weird. Very weird. Okay. Um. Well, let's let these fossils finish and just get everybody back, huh? Yeah, there's the full boat. So you ties. Thirsty, large appetite, needy is fine. Not great, but we'll we'll deal with it. We can always expand their pen. They got plenty of room to expand into. So we definitely do a synth here for these. That is five batch size. They are like social. Let's just hatch these now. Let's just do it. Let's just do these at the same time. It means we won't get the Utahs until the Carnos are out, but we'll at least clear that slot out. And then, yeah, we got the last fossil here. We might as well just process that and get Sinosaurus ready to go as well. So the Carnos get out. We can then hatch the Utahs and synth the Sinos at the same time. And then we'll do the Carna or the, we'll do the Coelophysis with the Uteranus, and then if they're a problem, we can easily just chuck them in with a Styrax, which we also do need to clone at some point. But I think these are like too social. Yeah, so we we should be safe for a while. Like we shouldn't have all of them die this close to their time getting up. Should be not a threat. Let's check the UDs because we probably do need to do a second batch unless we're really lucky here. Okay, they are intelligent, which I did not take into account with the enclosure design. Yes. Right. Oh. But we only got one. What? One out of four intelligent. Huh. Well, it's not enough to hatch. We need a second clutch. I'm pretty sure these are at least three social. No. I think three. But, uh. Let's wait for the Carnos. All right, the Carnos are flying over. The other ones are being sedated. We might as well queue these up to hatch because we're going to have to hatch both before we release any of them. So there's no reason not to get started on the 
popular. Yeah, honestly, let's just replace this. Yeah, this is just the amenity contract. It's free, so it's always good to take. It's just, it's not super rewarding. It's not as good as the make a bunch of Struthies contract. Uh, that was food, right? Medium food. That's uh, not medium, though. Here we go. Here it is. Uh, do, do deactivate, activate, make the money. Park needs support facilities like new okay. buildings. Restaurants, shops, pit stops, and I don't mean the kind of race cars. You know what I mean. So we're flying in four. There's no way we can have seven. I'll start selling. I guess I have. <laughs> I'm just curious to see how this is gonna work out. So, you land. Missing sand, missing a tiny bit of area. So the sand is probably fine. Yeah, we just haven't done it. But that's interesting. We're gonna need area. And we can do that, because this is like not, uh, this is farther back than it needs to be. But also we can just expand in this direction. Oh, we could just trivially do this, actually. It's so close to being good that this might just be enough to finish it. Oh, uh, and this should be security four. We'll just keep this as four. I haven't done four anywhere else, so that's kind of weird that I've done it for the Carnos only, but uh, that's my power concern. It's kind of kicking off there where I'm not really willing to push things further than that. Uh, let's sell the rest of these and make sure we don't uh, end up in trouble. The old ones, that is. Because it's really like a sliver of air. So this should be Asset totally fine. Yeah, temporarily five. It'll fix in a moment. Perfect. And then the fourth one will land. So it's, I can't say that it's perfect, actually, because that would be a lie. It'd be me lying. Four? Show me that number. Yes, okay. Yeah, so the area is basically perfect. So that's fantastic. All right. Four Carnotaurus. You know what? Four is better than three because Carnotaurus is uh, cool. So I should have been doing this sooner. Not that it matters because the hatch timer is, yeah, basically five. We lost five seconds of time. So this time, too intelligent. I want him. I want them all. So we're going to hatch these. We'll have five UDs. So we need to accommodate four intelligent in the pen design now, since we did not do it to be four. How do we want to do this? Well, obviously, we just push the, the fence back. Um, so let's just grab the feeder. Let's just chuck the feeder over here instead. Let that seal of physis get out of the way. And we'll just uh, pop in here. Okay, 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 calm down. So. Uh, I did the wrong fence tier because we did, we did three strength here. Oops. All right, let's get the gate on there. And I think it makes sense to do the other gate uh, close to it rather than just, you know, keep like a um, small section in the front here. Because if the gate goes down, we want the second gate to stop them from detecting the people. And that won't work. Uh, why did it do the big fence? Oh, because I was like trying to get to the fucking other thing. Well, okay, we make a tiniest amount of money back by replacing it, actually, which is really funny. So, I mean, it's not that bad. 
Yeah, if the gates and stuff are up here, it's not going to be as good. No, you fucking piece of shit. Damn it. Really? Okay, we'll use that as a guideline to know where to rebuild it. I'm very frustrated by that. Chunking swords are fighting? No, Chasmos are fighting. Chasmos makes sense because the new ones should probably have more do more dominance if the old ones are dying. Okay, give me the viewing platform, you shits. Uh, oh, it's further over somehow because the uh, fucking demolition takes up a larger space than the building does. Lovely. Well, it's probably fine, right? Probably. This pen might be big enough for you, Tyrannus. Like, it might be fine. Also, do we think that's enough space? I think so. It's a little tighter than this, maybe, but it doesn't have the gyrosphere. Probably not a big deal. Um, power loss. Jeep. Can you imagine if your employees acted like this constantly? I mean, maybe, maybe we deserve it. Maybe we're uh, just a really shitty boss. Who knows? That's all good. Uh, we've got a minute, 40 seconds. I think we can release the first two and just get them out and evaluate the enclosure and everything. We'll do that. Let's get the goat feeder right away. Just slap it down on the other side for the meat feeder, I guess. Fine. Let's see what happens. Because this will evaluate whether the Coelophysis are going to be an issue. And if the Coelophysis are going to panic, we probably want to sedate the Utyrannus before we sedate the Coelophysis. Um, I'm assuming the Coelophysis won't be able to kill a Utyrannus. If they can, I'm going to be astounded and mad at them. What's their lifespan? I have 59. They got a good amount of lifespan. Yeah, we definitely don't want to just like let them panic to death or something. We want them to survive. Assets being transported. Thank you, Train, for contributing the conversation out there. I don't think it comes in on the audio. Um, the, the mic settings filter that enough. But maybe you can hear it when I'm talking in the background. Once the uh, threshold is crossed by my voice. Three, two, one, zero. Uh... Let's check this first. So, open space, prey, population needs. Having the uh, the Snow White Utyrannus in the desert is kind of interesting. They actually blend in pretty well. Sand is pretty white. Um, all the Coelophysis are over here, but I think that's coincidental. This Utyrannus is heading that way. So far, the Coelophysis didn't scatter, though. Asset has been transported. Oh, these Styrax are uh, really, really pushing me on the whole... we got time. They're not going to die that fast thing. Because they, they fucking are. All right. Um, let's do the Styrax. Let's just release these guys. No, fuck it. Don't do it. Don't do it yet. Don't do it yet. So far, they haven't actually been startled by, like, the helicopters or anything. They might be fine. Transit has commenced. 
I mean, it currently looks like they're kind of being shepherded by the Utahranis, but I think that's coincidental. All right, well, the Utahs are still mad, though, without having their friends here, so let's release the other ones before they attack the fences. Looks like we're fine. We may not be, but so far we can't tell, so whatever. Uh... Well, one is a start, I guess. We'll do more Styrax when the Udays are out. So this guy's right here. Okay. Socializing. There was one right behind this Utaranus. He's just looking for water. Okay, so this seems like it's good. Um, the Coelophysis are totally chill. Good, great. So may maybe that's because the Coelophysis, unlike the... Well, last time we used Morose, it didn't panic, actually. It just died because it's a piece of shit. But it was also with Utyrannus. So I'm wondering... We saw a long time ago, at this point, a few patches ago, Morose panic around large carnivores. Was that because... They have been fixed since then, or is that a feature of the Utyrannus that it doesn't startle the scavengers? I can see that going either way in the code. Also, this goat is having a fucking time. Hold on. I need a screenshot. This is too good. <laughs> I'm not sure if I want, like, the underside shot, because it's like... No, the side shot of, like... The goat just being whipped around is pretty, pretty, pretty high tier. Oh my gosh. That poor goat. Just getting destroyed. Stop! He's already dead! He's already dead! <laughs> oh, and he just disappears. Yudi is a little small to be swallowing that goat whole. You can see it clip through the sides of the mouth and stuff, especially on slow motion there. Um, pretty sick animation, though. That was pretty cool. Not gonna lie. Storm rolling in. Uh, the Yudis are basically settled. More or less. Uh, okay, the, yeah, the intelligent ones are on the ground. We can see the intelligent markers. They do, in fact, reach those paths just barely. Um, so we need to make an adjustment here, just a smidge. Okay, well, we'll just move the um, gate, we'll flip it around to the interior. Actually, that might do it alone. Because you would see here, this is the visibility that's an issue. So if we just make the gate inside, that actually might just be enough. Because neither side here actually reaches the path. Um, so, the other thing to question is, yeah, we only have four currently down. But it looks like the territory is going to be fine. Who's dead? Draco Rex. Right, I already knew that. Um, so, yeah, let's just do... Let's do this right now. Plus, if this doesn't work out, we can just do the line now across back here. Um, and it'll be essentially the same as anything else. Okay, so we do that. Um, boy, that's cutting it close. I think it's fine. I'm going to believe it's fine. I'm not going to do anything about it. Uh, already, already sick. Okay, well, so here's a problem. Um, the pathing's really bad for the medical team to get in here. Let's do one of these. Let's do one of these. You know what we should have? We should have double gates built into the game. We should have this exact functionality, but as the Jurassic Park gate. 
like the double double layered gate you see in the original film that would be awesome is that a new death no okay uh okay 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 that is in fact can i see yes okay but the medical team's already on the way good so you get here you fix this gate everything else is fine ranger team four you can go fix the power pylon and this is fine medical medicating utah medicate medicate heal and scan oh you're just a corpse never mind you're just about to die it literally is about to die of old age that's what they do is they go to uh not hp oh yes and then of course this is um down because it's not actively powered so Manual gate check. Looks like it's good to me. Good. Okay. Uh, I want to do a quick peek at the hatchery while this is all happening. Uh, blocked by hatchery offline. Can we at least see the eggs? Fussy. I'm not gonna... Ooh. Do we just hatch the aggressives? They're in their own pen. We just leave them in their own pen. docile aggressive how is that possible i mean this is aggressive against dinosaurs and docile versus humans but like what no i want to leave the option to cohab these open we're just gonna hatch the one okay uh ud check because we didn't have five originally okay five is good still um do we want more of these guys in the park? I mean, they're worth a billion points. They're, like, insanely good, I feel like. I feel like they might be one of the best dinosaurs in the game. I mean, look at the fucking spike. I mean, it doesn't look like much, but it's significant. That's just... Five dinosaurs did that. Like, the, the, the reason I, I'm astounded by that is because this is 16,500 appeal. That's the harshest appeal. So that's 16,500 appeal from top to bottom here. Because this marks the target. So the fact that we can see a noticeable pip from every UD that lands. Still, this is like really good. Alright. Um, that's a lot of damage. Okay, give me... Yeah, give me a ranger team. Fix this. Fix this. Medical, we don't need to worry about medical down here. They'll do their thing. Um, shit. Wow, we, we got a ton of um, disease cropping up. And that Styrak is still not dead. That might be a zombie Styrak. I don't know the last time we've seen a zombie dinosaur. I think this is a, this is a zombie. He's died of old age, but the game is not caught up with it, and it doesn't understand what's happening. Well, whatever. I don't remember if they die on reload or if they're just stuck like that the whole time. Um, any other substantial damage? Doesn't really look like it. Oh, is this repowered? Shit, get this guy out of here. Go! Quick! Now, while well, we have power. Uh, over here... I think those were too social on the Styracos, so having just one each from these clutches is actually not the worst. I want more than two, but it's enough to stop worrying about it for the time being. Okay, the storm is over. Uh, oh! Okay, first Herrera has died of old age. Well, that's unfortunate. How? What's your margins like, friends? Your margins are still pretty good. We can do a clutch of Herreras. We can go over the current um, range there. Yeah, you're fucking unpowered. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Medical team is coming in here to deal with this Herrera. Get the other ones. 
Okay, um, and then yeah, power's restored. Can I get a ranger team to please repair this amenity? None of the other damage there looks like it matters. We need to repair an expedition center, but these guys are also right here, so we can go do it. Okay. So, what do we want to send? Um, Herrera's, probably? Or Cytosaurothrix. Let's get a new dinosaur into the park. Uh, so these guys probably go in. Why are... Medicating Draco. Medicating Struthi. Oh, he's right there. Okay. He's just dodging between the two enclosures like a dumbass. That's fine. We'll let him do his thing. I'm not going to worry about it. Uh, the amount of disease that cropped up in this fucking storm is ridiculous, though. Look at this. This is insane. What is this? We... Yeah, we, the medical team can pass through to this direction, so that's fine. It should be okay. I'm just going to keep on top of it, keep it queued up. And if this one will finish up his shit... Yeah, go... Okay, so let's do do the thing. And then we'll uh, assign him on the rest of these. Okay, great. So that should be everything queued up. That should be good to go. Um, you fuckers. Good thing we saw that, CeeLo. We might be able to snatch him up before um, the park figures out he's escaped and penalizes us. In terms of safety. All right, what do we got? Uh, fussy, vulnerable, docile. Fussy, vulnerable, docile. Fussy, social. Fussy, fit, intolerant. Intolerant doesn't really matter. We'll take it. Doesn't penalize lifespan, and the cohab shouldn't be that significant either. We just got to figure out where they go. So let's plan that. Could try for exports. It's probably worth it. Disease free, we could take two. Because we're literally clearing out the disease right now. But, I mean, this is almost 3 million bucks. Let's do it. 625 appeal is not that hard to do. So, let's go through the park. First thing to look at is probably the Apatosaurus. 147 expected, age is 164. Yeah, let's get that Apato Pato is 200, so that's a good start. And then the Herreras are, of course, elderly. Some of them. So let's start at the beginning with two. So yeah, 64, 69. Two, three, four. Yeah, we'll just start clearing these out. Can we sell this uh, one that's supposed to be dead and is a zombie, maybe? That'd be cool. I'm more interested in knowledge than the creature comforts that come with wealth. All right, we'll, we'll start with those. Go from there. The park is a business, so we have four point one stars. That's pretty nice. So food and shopping are significantly dipped. Restroom coverage is down too. We need to fix up the amenities. I'd like to. So I'd like to do this. I'd like to get. Um, this sorted out. I'd like to get the Sinoceropteryx out and everything here. You're aware. Um, so we'll have to play with this. 77. So 775. 900 get. 775. And then the mediums. Four fifty thirty two. So that's better, but that's... Yeah, you're not quite the best that you can be. Okay. So basically, scaling from medium to large is a wash. It's only the small amenities that are, like, actively better. Okay. Also, do we have a penalty kicking us? Oh! Probably the guests... We're not getting, yeah, we're not getting our full potential guess, so that probably results in the shops on the south end of the park getting penalized a little bit. Probably what's happening the there. Okay, uh, let's get this Styrac out. 
Yeah, because we got like the well for penalty from disease. We got whatever other problems we're dealing with that are going on too. Uh, okay, something is dead. Old age, damn. Uh, is the Apato sedated then? How much were these guys? So that's 300. The Apato is 500. Okay, we need an Apatosaurus right away though, because that's um, an entire species we're missing out on. The Sinoceraptor can go wherever. What's their social though? Six to seven. That's kind of bad. Uh, what's the medical team's fucking doing? Are you, wait, how are you going back? Did it spread more? Shit. It must have spread. Oh, maybe this one was missed. That has been collected. Asset transportation on Okay, calm down everything. I want the other fucking medical team. Give me the other medical team, please. Um, no, wait, you're already do doing this? What are you doing? Medicating the car now. Okay, well, you're head over for everything else. Sure. Okay. Okay, um, why? Shit. Okay, okay, okay. Sell appeal, sell appeal, sell appeal. Sell, 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 sell. sell. Currently, you're trying to sedate this thing. I have a suspicion it's not going to work. Uh, yeah, sure. Sedate those two. Fuck it. Um, do just the one. What if I put the mobile vet on? What'll happen then? Okay, the Kamara is the last thing left. Uh, excuse me, Dryos, what are you doing? Looking for food, population two. What has happened to you? There's only three of you. Fuck. Okay. You panicked because of the medical team and now you've separated from your herd. Uh, he's heading in the right direction though. Oh, but he's panicked again. Oh no, there's Dryos. They're just all panicked out and don't know what the fuck is happening anymore. They're just bugged. Well, they're not bugged. It's it's just... It's not a bug, because that's literally how they made the panic mechanic work for some fucking reason. Um, okay, I'm trying to get all this stuff done. And it is... It is, uh... It is, we're having a time. Shit. Both of them. Shit. Okay. Well, in that case, we'll have to wrap this one up here. We're already over an hour. Um, it's just going to have to wait for next time. So, yeah, next time we replace the dinosaurs we're selling off here. Oh, we need to finish the contract, though. We'll replace the dinosaurs we're selling off here next time. Um, please. And then uh, go from there. So we should have a pretty good amount of money. I mean, we've burned through a lot of money in the last few episodes, but the park is in good condition. Oh, we need to fix up our amenities. I see. I'm getting super distracted by being pulled in different directions. Um, okay. No fossils. Good. Verified. Uh, yes. Cause we were, we did the bathroom and then we got distracted by everything else. So the drinks situation is like, it's done. Drinks are, drinks are good. Um, so we need a large amenity. So the option is essentially to delete these guys and put it in here. Vegan buffet and boba. Yeah, I think we do it like this. Maybe we could put a medium behind it. Five twenty-five on that one. 
So we got rid of a drinks here, which we probably needed. Uh, let's do this. So if we look here, shopping is good. Drinks. Yeah, drinks is bad. So let's try let's try this. Uh convert you to drinks. No, no. Uh buried down here now, which makes this even worse. No. Oh my god, it resets back to here. Like fuck off. Drinks. Change to drinks. Apply, because it takes a billion button prompts. Aquarium, please do photo booth, please. There is the drinks. Now, 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 now. Drinks are still not good enough, but shopping is. So we have one, two, three, four, five shopping. We have one, two, three drinks. Shopping is a hundred percent. We have 200 excess. So we'll change one of you over to drinks again. Uh, we still need more drinks down there. So, and then that doesn't, doesn't solve the food situation. We need to figure that out. Sorry, what? Yeah. Oh my God. The, the UI is just cumbersome on these shots. Um, no, what am I doing? Aquarium, photo booth. State is boba tea. That is fine. Okay. This doesn't update the same way the overlay does. 100% eh, shopping. Maybe it does. Um. Okay. This is blue. So so yeah. One large, four small. One large, four small. And then here we got one, two, three, four, five. So that means uh, we should be able to do one of these. Take you. Maybe chuck you. You know what? I'm just going to delete this bathroom. We're going to see what happens. Uh, I'm not sure we can fit a medium here, actually. Or, I mean, a large, even. Yeah, no, we can't fit a large. Can we fit a large down here if we do some redesigning? You bet ya we can. So... Clear that, clear that. This buffet needs to be shopping. Don't click the wrong button or it'll dump us back to the fucking map. Okay. Uh, aquarium, photo, a booth, and this should be books. Probably might as well be books. Okay. Uh, what's our bathroom coverage at? 100%. That's probably not true. Large amenity. Food. I'm going to put it as far towards that path as I can. Hey! Click it when it's blue. You shit. Fuck. Alright. Uh, give me aquarium. Give me ice cream. And give me doll. Okay. Oh, uh, and then, yeah, if we need a restroom, we can always just put it here. But there's already one there. It looks like they want one down here. Wow. Uh, everything is just slightly not in a good spot. <laughs> I think we could do some bullshit. We take this, and we just, uh, we just run the path like... like be straight? Oh god. It won't be straight. Uh, let's try it. Let's just try it. I just need a snap point for the restroom. I mean, it looks really bad. Like, really bad? I hate it. I actually hate it. <laughs> um, we'll just put this one back in. I think. And I'm I'm hard pressed to see another option. Ooh, move the power. That looks like it might work. All right, connect that up. Okay. Great. Uh, 
demolish you. Reconnect the power line back up. Okay, that's all good. Sneak in a restroom right as close to that as we can get it. 100%. Okay, okay. Ratings check. Ta-da! Perfect. Okay. We, we've dealt with everything else. We got our valuable exports bonus there. Can we take a peek at profit? Sure. Uh, this is maybe still acclimating. One of many. Okay, so we got some config issues. Probably the front of the park. Yes. Oh, so we're drawing more orange here than we were previously. Oh, because we've doubled this up on green for some reason. I wonder if the other ones are like this. Okay. Well, so the issues are fairly minor. Yeah, okay. So these were never really set in... Um, they never had to be set in like an optimal way, it seems. And then probably the bigger ones here are also a little messy. Yeah, yeah, because we never had the orange for anything. Understandable. Carry on. Have a nice day. So yeah, the park is in pretty good shape. I think... I think we're pretty good. Like, I don't think we have any substantial die-off in our future. Knock on wood, I guess. So we should be able to, like, focus up on dinos. So, uh, before we end, uh, we're resting those two people. This leaves us with... This is six. So we can't do that. Um, please, scientists. I, we could consider firing somebody here. It's a real question of whether or not we're going to need those logistics people to dig. Okay, so let's get the dryo. Because essentially all the core park, like, research and stuff is done. So we'll get more dryos. We clearly need more of those. That's still a little problematic having that herd uh, the way it is. And then, if we look at our scientists, we have obviously a seven, and we have Alvarez, who's pretty useful. So the one to fire would be, like, Basara, except we need that welfare. So I feel like the one to fire is actually Matsuda. Because, yeah, we need the Genesis, we need the welfare. He's, can, he can get the nine self actually so maybe the play is to fire basara but she's cheaper what else are we gonna do are we gonna do anything else big ticket i don't know We can worry about that later. Um, yeah, for now, we won't make a decision about firing. We'll decide on that in the next episode if we fire somebody. So until then, sorry about how long this one was. It felt like we needed to take care of all that in one go, kind of, uh, with the UTs upsetting the apple cart on the part of park a little bit and uh, having to redo finances. So, Plus, you know what? It helps it not be a 20-episode series. 